Welcome to Beer 30 at Secure State. I'm Ken Smith. I'm a senior analyst with the Attack and Defense Team. I'm a former member of 5th Special Forces Group, Signals Intelligence Operator, uh, and I'm a current network security professor at the University of Mount Union. Uh, I also head up our physical security team, which is why we're going to talk about what we're talking about today. So the physical security assessment is a passive engagement as opposed to an active one, uh, like a physical pen test where a consultant would try to break into your facility. With the site assessment, we both look for vulnerabilities, so unlocked doors, uh, open gates, uh, dead zones and camera coverage, and we also run through a checklist uh, to look for the presence of certain physical controls. And we base that on as-is standards, uh, as well as personal experience and industry best practices. Uh, the checklist itself uh, will spit out a score for each individual site uh, that's based on the uh, Carnegie Mellon's uh, Capability Maturity Model Integration, or CMMI, uh, scoring system. And what that does is look at the specific maturity level of site, uh, which allows us to adjust it uh, for larger sites like campuses, all the way down to small sites like bank branches and credit unions. So what the site assessment is going to do for you is allow you to determine uh, the current state of your scoped sites, uh, which will then allow you to work to improve uh, both the safety and the security of the site uh, in order to protect your employees and your assets. So here's an example site, and what we're going to do now is run through uh, the 10 categories that we would review uh, on the checklist in a normal site assessment. So first we have perimeter and gates. Uh, and what we do here is check for whether or not the site is reasonably isolated and secure. Uh, and we ask questions like, is the barbed wire facing the correct way, in or out? The second category involves checking doors and windows. So something as simple as, are the doors locked when they need to be? Uh, what materials are they made of? And are there any gaps around or under uh, the frame that an attacker could exploit to get inside a facility? With security lighting, we look to see if there's ample light uh, for people to move about the facility uh, within the parking lot and whether or not there are emergency exit lights in place and if they're operational. In the cameras category, we look to see if the area is fully covered and whether or not the, the level of technology is appropriate for the given site. Uh, so for example, thermal cameras might be appropriate for uh, a substation, but they may not be appropriate for a retail uh, location. For non-employee management, we look at both visitor and, and contractor management. Uh, so we ask questions uh, such as whether or not there's a sign-in sheet for visitors and uh, whether or not they're escorted around the facility. We also uh, conduct interviews uh, and on-site observations to gather some of the material during the assessment. For the access control systems category, we're looking uh, at the technology specifically around the entries and exit ways. Everything from as simple as brass keys uh, to advanced RFID technologies uh, made by companies such as HID. And then of course we look to see if the level of technology uh, achieved on site is appropriate for what is being protected. In the alarms category, uh, we check to, to see whether or not uh, there are audible only alarms or controlled panel alarms on site and how those technologies are being implemented and protected. In lock and key management, we verify that policies are in place to secure and replace keys. Uh, and we ask questions such as, what happens when someone is fired uh, to their keys and cards? And if cards or keys are lost, how long does it take to replace them? Concerning document management, we look for shredders on site and just, uh, determine whether or not uh, a third party is used across the organization or at a site level uh, to handle shredded documents. And in this category, we also take a look uh, at the fire system and whether or not uh, extinguishers are up to date and regularly maintained. So with the final category, guard force, our first question is to ask whether or not there is one in place at all. If so, we check to see that they are appropriately trained and whether or not there are policies and procedures and documentation to track uh, the work and deliverables for the guard force if they happen to be third party. So today we talked about the physical security site assessment. Secure State also performs a number of other physical security assessments, uh, including the physical pen test already mentioned, uh, in which a consultant will attempt to break into a target facility and retrieve trophy data. We have the physical security risk and threat assessments, uh, in which consultants use open source intelligence uh, to identify threats and then determine the risk to each individual site in scope. And we also have a strategic service uh, known as the physical security governance review, uh, in which interviews, site assessments, and threat assessments are all combined uh, to take a holistic risk-based approach uh, to a physical security program. So this has been Beer 30. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please send them over to info at securestate.com.